We're here in the middle of session. This is the Senate caucus room, and things get a little hectic. And you can hear some background noise, so I'll just talk to you guys directly, all right? We got a bunch of bills on criminal law issues. Um, yes, some of these are in response to the killings of six police officers within a matter of three months, one of them in our district. I'm not happy about the kind of political atmosphere that that results in, because it forces us to do things, some of which are needed, okay, some of which are not. And my job as the chair of the Judiciary Committee is to do what we have to do and should do and not do the kind of stuff that some of my colleagues are being forced to do. I get to be the backstop. I get to cut the stuff out. Let's talk about bail. Maurice Clemens was bailed out. Some people feel there's a problem in his having been bailed out. I don't. He was charged with an offense. He was standing trial. He gets to buy his freedom. It costs him. Um, we don't like the idea that freedom should cost money because low-income people have a problem with that. But that's what we inherited from English common law, and we're not going to get rid of it. So there are too many attempts, I think, to somehow restrict bail or to make it more expensive, which has a problem for low-income people, who are presumed innocent at that phase. My job is to deal with a constitutional amendment that I feel politically we need to do to make sure that it first does no harm. And I think we have an answer to that. Uh, we are going to amend the state constitution in a way that allows, allows, does not require judges to deny bail, not just in capital cases, which they already can, but in cases which will necessarily lead to a life without parole. That is, a life served entirely in jail. No chance of getting out. Those people arguably have nothing to lose by doing crazy stuff the way Maurice Clemens did. And so it's not unreasonable to expect that we're going to restrict judges' ability to, to give them bail. But every other bill on the issue of bail that has come before this legislature, my answer is no, at least for now. What we're going to do is create a task force in a Senate bill that I have and put these questions to that task force. The governor earlier called a task force consisting of two interest groups, cops and law enforcement. Those are two legitimate interest groups. There's also the criminal defense bar, the bail bond industry, low-income people, the ACLU, a wide variety of other people with other views. Those also need to be included at the table, and my bill does that. Every issue that deals with bail will be considered by that task force. And it will come back at a time when this political atmosphere has somewhat abated, uh, when we have time to be more thoughtful about what we're going to do on this constitutional right. And more importantly, it's going to be the result of a whole lot more people than just law enforcement. I might point out that every single member of the Judiciary Committee, including that famous Senator Jim Hargrove, agreed on this bill. This task force is going to look at bail in every single aspect. Um, conservatives and liberals alike, we agreed on this one, and I think it's a good bill. So that's where we are. Um, there were a couple of other things we did, um, relatively minor, that have to do with robbery, uh, robbery of a pharmacy. We've uh, jacked that up uh, to robbery first degree if drugs are taken. And the reason for that is it's not just a robbery. It's not just going into a pharmacy with a gun or having uh, what looks like a gun. It's getting more drugs into the political envi into the environment, getting more people um, hooked on more drugs, and there's an element of um, seriousness about that. Um, assault weapons. I know there are some people who don't like that. I believe that is exactly one of the best ways to respond to the killings of police officers with assault weapons, is to take those damn things out of our society. They have no business here. They're a military weapon. They're intended to allow soldiers to clear the battlefield of large numbers of people quickly. They do that very, very efficiently. They have no damn business in the 37th district or anywhere off an army base.